according to scripture for our instruction from God truly is is women who profess to be followers of Christ God's made it very clear what he desires of us and it's because it's what he designed us to do so in Titus 2 verses 3 through 5 we're told that we need to live in a way that honors God to not slander others not be heavy drinkers we need to teach others what is good and train the younger women. We train them to love their husbands, love their children. We train them to live wisely. And that's what I think is so important, to live wisely. In different translations, it's worded to be sensible or self-controlled, to be discreet and self-disciplined, to be temperate. But then I think of those terms and I go, hmm, that's not really anything we see anywhere in the world, in our culture, in our country, even in our church today. Self-discipline, self-control, right? Being sensible and wise. It's not really the norm anymore today. But yet we know in the fruits of the Holy Spirit, we're given nine traits that your life should be producing when you are filled by the Holy Spirit. It says, but the Holy Spirit produces this kind of fruit in our lives. Our lives will be full of love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So we see in our biblical woman passage that biblical women, they, they exhibit the self-control. But then across the board, if I profess Christ and I am filled with the Holy Spirit, that the fruit being produced in my life, one of those fruits is truly self-control. But yet we look in a world and we just see lack of self-control everywhere. Obesity is just taking everyone over by, by force. Substance abuse is out of control. Our debt and just excess of stuff is insane, like nothing we've ever seen before in the world's history. All of that boils down to a lack of self-control. Everything is instant gratification. Now, what do I want? I don't want to wait. I want to eat this. I want to have this. I want to feel better. I, 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 I. Where is the truth, the fruit of the Spirit in that line of thinking, in that life example? Because we're called to offer our bodies as living sacrifices to God. Truly to live as one who has been transformed by the Lord and therefore shows that in everything that we are. The Apostle Paul even gives the example in his first letter to the church in Corinth where he says, I know I'm a sinful wretch. I want to do what is good and yet for some reason I end up not. I know what's right and I still choose what is wrong because I am in this sinful flesh here and now. If left to my own devices, I am going to choose what's wrong. I am not going to be self-controlled. I'm not going to be wise and sensible. In my sinful state, I cannot do that. But. If I truly trust in the Lord, I truly have repented and turned to Christ, I am baptized with the Holy Spirit. And it is the Spirit within me that guides me to be self-controlled. Paul continues on to explain and give the example of an athlete. We've all seen this, right? Be it athletes or celebrities or maybe even someone you know in your life who, man, it's like they have it all together. They're always working out. They're eating great. They have money, right? They do all of these things. And we can see how self-disciplined they are, self-motivated they are. It might be worldly things that they're working towards, but man, they make sure that they have trained themselves to succeed in whatever area it is. And then we might look at our own lives and go, man, I ate 10 cupcakes already today. I'm not doing so well at that. I don't have that self-discipline. But Paul says, if I can see in athletes how hard they work to discipline their bodies for an earthly crown that will fade, that will tarnish, 
that will be burnt up and lost in the end. If I can see the seriousness that they take this to, that they work to discipline themselves to win at their race, why am I not doing the same to discipline myself for the work for the race that I am in to glorify God, to serve Him, to store up eternal crowns and rewards that do last, that the Lord God wants to grant to us. How much more important is it to be self-controlled, self-disciplined, wise, temperate, sensible, to do these things so that I can work truly, wholeheartedly to the Lord? in all areas of my life. And so I think it's worth sitting here and holding that mirror up and asking ourselves, are we truly self-controlled? Do you truly live a life where you are keeping yourself disciplined, not in your own sinful flesh for things of the world that are burnt up and and don't matter, but self-controlled through the power of the Holy Spirit in all areas of your life, in all aspects, for an eternal reward, for eternal glory to the Lord God above all. We must exercise and teach and encourage self-control of the Spirit in all aspects of our lives. Hey friends, I just wanted to invite you all over. This summer we are studying through biblical womanhood, looking at scripture to see what it is that the Lord desires of us because it's what he designed us to do. And so come over and join us as we go through spending the entire summer looking through each and every trait, looking at what scripture says, how to apply it, and even bringing our daughters along so that we can be teaching them what God has called us all to do. So right now, I invite you, click that blue join button so that you can come over. You're going to get access to a private website with all of the videos, course materials, freebies, a private membership community group, and so much more. You're going to get this series, but then every month that you are a member, you're going to get access to all of the other series that we have done over the past year and a half as well. So come and join us. Let's dig in and let's see what God desires of all of us women that profess Christ. I'll see you over there. Bye guys.